spring is easy for some. Rain falls, the sun shines, and flowers grow out of the soil like they were always meant to. Hair grows rapidly out of my body, turning it into a siren-like thing for some, while my hands turn it into an echo of my grandmother's hands. And then there is the growth that is forced, the type that you create out of thin air because you can, the growth into the comfort of your own skin even when everyone tells you you shouldn't like it, the growth of learning a new skill and building something new out of it. But not everything that grows is good and beautiful. Some things, when stuck for long enough, grow rot. They grow mold and become inedible, indefensible. I've been stuck for over a year now here. And growth happens in fits and starts. Some of it is beautiful and some of it is disgusting. I've grown used to the comfort of my bed even as I work and work and work. I miss the separation between work and fun and sleep because it all feels the same now, and I allowed that to grow and fester. I've grown skill in crochet, and this blanket has grown and is nearly done, but I'm a little bit stuck right now. I've grown my novel's word count a bit, and I've grown friendship and an unhealthy attachment to a social media site because they are intertwined grown together like a tumor on a beautiful tree. I've grown used to complacency a bit, to not doing anything, because what's the point? Even my beautiful hair has grown into split ends. When tragedies happened and my life changed, I was thrown into growthful force, aging years within weeks because I had to. And that kind of growth the growth that makes you more adult, more mature, more, more. That's the kind of growth that involves destruction a little bit. Destruction of the idea of who you would and could be, because here you are right now in this moment, as grown as you can be, doing your best. And even then you know full well that this is a moment of growth too. This moment right here as you're sitting on your computer thinking about things and any future growth will build from there. And with growth, the point is right there in this blanket I'm making that I'm a little stuck on. It's going to grow, and I have to push a little and work my hands a little more for it to be all grown. Growth is art, no matter if it's good or bad. It's creation and destruction and creation again with the same hands and mind and routines that we have to make and break. And that's all I want to do. Grow with intention. Destroy what needs destroying in order to create. Build my life into art. And find beauty in whatever growth that happens. Special thanks to Ben Birdperson, Eric Svensson, Untapped Inkwell, and Pelon X8 for being my amazing patrons. If you would like to support my video work, head on over to my Patreon and check out the perks, which can include something I am making this month.